Hi everybody, this is Avocat Friend, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in H1Z1 King of the Kill. All the tips that I will give you uh, will work with Just Survive if you are a Just Survive player. So yeah, that's about it. So first of all, let's go to Properties, Browse Local File, search for your using option, sorry, User Options File, and this is your config file in the game. So first of all, the first part of it is your resolution. Uh, some Twitch Pro streamer are using uh, 1060 by 900 for uh, the full screen uh, resolution. Um, it, they prefer that because you're kind of like more zoom in in the game. So and they think they can like uh, aim better and shoot better uh, people with it. I'm not very convinced. I did the test, but honestly, it's a personal preference. So just test it on your side me i prefer full hd i can't just play with less than full hd in 2017 so you should try for sure if you lower your resolution you will get more fps but uh it will decrease your visual quality so let's let's like just test it on your side hd pixel plus this one uh if it's one the HD pixel in your game will be full HD, okay? It will match with your resolution. If you downscale it, 0 0.8 for an example, you will gain a lot of FPS, but the visual quality will decrease a lot. So this one is the last resort. So after all the tricks that I will give you, you can touch it if you have like a lot of problem to get your 60 FPS. So first of all, effect quality, stay at two. Each bracket here, uh, you will see... Um, 3 to 4 FPS. I prefer 2 because some effects are really important in the game when I play. Uh, so just put 2 over there. Texture quality here, you will not gain a lot of FPS with that. So just I'm using 2, you can use 1 or 3 depending of what, whatever you need. And by the way, 3 is high, 2 is medium, 1 is low. Uh, for this one, you just need some a good like VRAM on your card. So if you have a video card with just 1 gig, uh, for sure you put this one at 2. Shadow quality and floor quality. This one is very important. Put it at one. Uh, back in the days, uh, this um, you, you put like you, like I remember in the old patch, you can remove the uh, shadow quality and even the flora. But now you can't. You, you but you can put the, this at low. So uh, try it just with those two settings at one. You can gain 15 to 17 FPS. Uh, H1Z1 is not a game <laughs> well optimized. And uh, for shadow, it's crazy. Just three. I, I did a test. I put three in one my shadow and one. I saw just an improvement of 13 FPS straight up like that just for shadow. So really important. Render distance. Uh, don't go too crazy over there. Uh, if you have 2000, 2200, it, it doesn't like change anything in the game. You will not like, for example, if you see someone at 2500, you can't even shoot him. So don't use that. Uh, just use the default if you have a good computer and go lower if you have a, a mid-range computer uh, a lot of people are using uh, 1500 when they drop and after that when they are in the city they just drop it at 500 i think 500 you can miss stuff so for me uh i prefer to play with 1500 you will see in my benchmark i have more than 100 fps so uh, no reason to lower this for me um yeah AO uh, model qual uh, sorry AO fog shadow lighting quality speed tree interior lightning everything at zero uh, with all those changements you will gain again 15 to 20 FPS a lot of improvement you can go over there model quality I stay at one uh, not something important for me I just want performance because I play a game that uh, uh, I want performance uh, visual quality is not very important for me but if you want more and you you see that you have 150 FPS for sure you can uh, put this one at two or three uh, depending on your computer the last one is vertical fav uh, before I was playing in 74 because each game that I play I always put more FOV it's really important for me because you can see like larger and wider but I f I did some tests in this game and I saw a lot of pro streamer they were using 67 i was like i'm mm, not sure why i did a test 67 and i was looking uh, on some window across the street and you can't really see better it's more zoomed in and for sure if you go too lower like 60 or something like that 
you can't see a uh, wire when you're, you're, you're running with your, uh, your uh, character. So I think 67 seems to be the sweet spot be be between uh, seeing better in windows and stuff like that and seeing wider. So uh, do some tests. For sure, you will gain some FPS if you were using more than 67 because the game needs to render less. So for an example, if you're looking at a building, you see the old building in 74, but in 67, you see, I don't know, uh, like three quarter of the building, you're rendering less in your screen. So uh, yeah, you can gain um, some FPS depending on the situation with this one. So uh, sometimes you can gain three to seven FPS depending uh, like where you are in the map. So that's about it, guys. I will uh, put the link in the video. Uh, I made a benchmark with my computer. I got an i7 4790K uh, CPU, 16 gig of RAM, and an AMD RX 400 8 gig uh, OC. So you will see um, the number of FPS that I get, I'm getting in different situations. When I'm dropping, when I'm in the city, when I'm in, like I don't know in the gas, etc. So you can compare yourself. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section with your rig, CPU, uh, GPU, and RAM. And I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.